Hello designers! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting tutorial for you. We're going to create a glossy icon using Figma. So let's dive right in. We'll start by adding a new frame. Make sure to turn on the clip content option and round those corners to give our icon a smooth look. With our example, we will be using a round shape. Now let's add some depth to our icon. We'll do this by adding two inner black shadows. One should have an offset from the left and the other from the right. Remember, we want these shadows to be bold, so keep the opacity at 100%. And here's a pro tip. Give the shadow on the left a bit more blur for a dynamic effect. Moving on, let's change the fill of our frame to a really dark gray. This will set the stage for our highlights. Speaking of which, let's add our first highlight using the pen tool. Looking good so far, now let's add a second highlight, but this time we'll decrease the opacity. And here's another pro tip, use a linear gradient as a fill so you can fade out the top and bottom. This will give your icon a sleek, glossy look. Now it's time to add some smaller highlights. We'll use the pen tool again for this. Add one or two highlights in every corner except the top left one. This will help us achieve a unique glossy effect. We're almost there. Let's give all our highlights a subtle layer blur. This will soften the highlights and make them blend in nicely. And now it's time to add your logo. To make our logo blend in with the glossy effect, we'll change the fill of the logo to a linear gradient. This will give your logo a smooth transition and make it part of the icon. And for the final touch, let's use the plugin Beautiful Shadows. This will give our glossy icon a polished and professional look. And voila! You've just created a glossy icon with Figma. Great job, everyone. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep experimenting with different shapes and colors. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more design tutorials.